whenever we think of maths and mathematicians we just think of formulas imaginary numbers esoteric equations with roman symbols where you spend your lives in small closed rooms pouring over sheets of paper lying around unconnected to reality and where after so much hard work you can't even qualify for a nobel prize well you get a fields medal in maths also dubbed as the maths nobel however most regular folks like me don't even know what this fields medal is and it also sounds more like a war medal well if you talk to manjul bharga you get a completely different story manjul is a young professor of mathematics at princeton and is also the first person of indian descent to get a maths nobel also called the fields medal and many many years before him there were many indian ancient musicians poets linguists philosophers who would also do some maths linguists like panini pingal hemachandra and narayana discovered some wonderful and deep mathematical concepts while studying poetry on the occasion of maths day in this film we will explore math and music and how it inspired manjul to pursue math manjul who didn't like school very much often took 4 months off from his school in canada and would hang out in jaipur the city of india with his grandparents flying kites enjoying mangoes and wondering how many mangoes would a thela wala have in a triangular or a square pile 10 story high he learned from his grandfather how incredible maths was discovered by scholars who considers themselves not mathematicians but poets or linguists so these indian poets would explore rhythms in sanskrit poetry now sanskrit poetry there are two kinds of syllables long and short a long syllable lasts two beats and a short syllable lasts one beat now this is also interesting for musicians or tabla players who want to improvise with dha a long beat and dhin a short beat to make a eight beat tal and they didn't want to do the same boring dha dha dhin dha 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 dhin dha 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 dhin dha all the time because it would be extremely boring for the audience so they would want to find out all possible tals of specific beat let's say a to entertain the audience during the performance and on one such visits to jaipur manjul read a couplet by a jain scholar poet and a polymath pandit hemchandra and in this sanskrit couplet written in 1150 ad hemchandra proved very elegantly the number of different ways to construct an 8 beat tal something that we today know as fibonacci number now fibonacci presented this in 1202 50 years after hemchandra had proven it fibonacci probably read hemchandra's proof in alexandria and so today we call these numbers hemchandra fibonacci numbers duly recognizing the contribution by pandit hemchandra so for example if we start with 1 and 2 then the next number is 1 plus 2 which is 3 and the next number is obtained by 2 and 3 which is 5 so far we have 1 2 3 5 and the next number is written by adding 3 plus 5 which is 8 and in this way we get a sequence of numbers 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 55 89 and so on and so for 8 beats the answer is 34 in total which is the eighth number in that series similarly you can find the answer for any number of beats these numbers play an important role now in so many areas of mathematics that there is even a entire mathematical journal the fibonacci quarterly devoted to them they also arise in botany and biology for example the number of petals on a daisy tends to be one of these hemchandra numbers and similarly the number of spirals in a pine cone and the proof given by hemchandra is extremely elegant let's look at this a little more closely consider all the possible combinations of 8 beat let's separate all these combination in two different buckets where the last syllable is either long in one bucket and where the last syllable is short in another bucket and now let's remove the last syllable from all the combinations in both the buckets now all the 8 beat rhythms have been divided into two buckets which contain all possible 7 beat 
rhythms and all possible six beat rhythms because we have removed the last syllable which is either the short syllable or the long syllable so now we can see that all possible eight beat rhythms is basically the sum of all possible seven beat and all possible six beat rhythms this is called the hem chandra fibonacci series so now we can even extend this to find out all the possible combinations of short long and super long syllables let's say of 10 beat each and this was possible because some poets and philosophers years ago didn't break music and maths into two different subjects and categories this story inspired manjul when he was growing up because it's a wonderful example of a simple idea that grew into something so popular important unraveling deep mysteries and exploring beautiful connections amongst different streams of knowledge there are many examples of this phenomena in mathematics and other areas there are many such examples stemming from sanskrit poetry also and these are some of those things which make our eyes just light up and so we hope that this can inspire many more of you to go deep into music and math and unravel the mysteries that lie therein happy maths day thank you